Under the ice from Dusseldorf, Germany, is Tanya Shevchenko. She's the new German star. They call her the next Katerina Witt, but she's probably most famous for being the one who crashed into Oksana Bayul in practice at the Olympics. She had a disappointing Europeans. Three days ago, she was x-rayed for a stress fracture, a problem with her foot. three deductions. Well, Tanya Shevchenko was able to find some smooth sailing after a very rocky start. Well, she's visibly disappointed. She looks to be in pain as well. That will put her right out of the running. <laughs> it seems that for some skaters, no matter how big the surface is, it's not big enough. Some of you may remember Midori Ito jumping right out of the rink on her triple Uts one year. It's actually an inexcusable mistake because this ice surface is full surface, Olympic size 100 by 200 feet. Can't get bigger than that. And it should have been dealt with with her choreography. Dropped right side and then she takes an extra step. Actually, that's why she runs out of room. Still trying to squeeze it in, but couldn't do it. Marks, please, for Tanya Shevchenko. Shows something of a rough ride for Tanya Shevchenko. 5 And the marks reflect just what a tough time she had on the ice, but that will pretty much put her out of contention. She's only 17. She's extremely charismatic. After she won the world bronze medal last year, she landed a contract with a chocolate factory. Well, there was nothing sweet about this performance today. 5.3, 5.5, 5.2. We have much more to come when we come back. China's bright light on the ice. Chen Lu.
And a bit later, just one month removed from her U.S. National Championship, Nicole Bobek of the United States will take her shot at a World Championship medal. We'll be back.